Today on the channel, we're looking at Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors on Where I Got It Figured. The way I got it figured. Some figure fans, Where I Got It Figured, back with another review. This time, we're looking at the Hasbro starting lineup, guys. And I do have a couple of them, Steph Curry being the first. There will be a second review coming. But, you know, I got Steph Curry because, well, out of everybody that they made, I actually like Steph Curry. Not to say that the other players aren't great. You know, Luka Don Doncic is cool. Joel Embiid is cool. I don't really know about John Morant and Giannis all that much. But I'm not saying they're bad. But, you know, Steph Curry is kind of a, Household name, everybody kind of knows Steph Curry is the best three-point shooter in the league. Um, so to get, you know, to get out of review, get one of these figures just to see how they compare, I wanted to get somebody that I was at least going to like. So, so we got Steph Curry here, and uh, we're going to talk about the box. We're going to talk about the line. What I thought they could have did better, all that stuff. So we're gonna start with the packaging as normal. So here's Steph Curry in the starting lineup package, officially licensed NBA Golden State Warriors product. Steph and Curry number thirty, series one starting lineup, four plus Hasbro, all that good stuff. Got your little hologram on the side for authenticity's sake. Golden State Warriors. Get some hands. Get them holding the basketball. And you get a money kind of collector's card to go with it. There's uh, Steph taking a shot. Starting line up on the top. As you can see, I got them from TJ Maxx for $12.99. Take the sticker off. Bunch of crap on the bottom. All right, so we're going to get Steph Curry out of the package and continue with our review. All right, so we've got Steph. Out of the package and everything that's in the package out here with him, but I think I should go over the package because it's really it's really premium. So when these figures came out, Hasbro wanted an astounding forty dollars per figure. Like every figure was forty bucks, and you know you gotta take into account kind of a lot of things that's going on. One. It's an officially licensed product. So it's got the NBA, the teams, Nike, Adidas, whoever, whatever they're wearing, you know, they have actual stuff on for that. So like, like you see the Nike swoosh here with Steph Curry. It's not, I didn't see the Nike logo anywhere or anything about Nike on the product itself. Panini is making the card. There's a lot of officially licensed kind of stuff going on here. And so, you know, you have to pay the license. And if the license is super expensive, it's going to make the figure be super expensive. But for that, they didn't just give you an action figure. that was just a ho-hum action figure. You know, they put a bunch of premium stuff into it. And even the packing of the figure itself is amongst the most premium I've ever seen Hasbro do on any of their products. So I did remove everything first, but you can kind of see here, you got the little stand tray here that is in the the uh, the stand for the, the jumping stand hides behind this little piece right here. The Trading card is kind of in there, and then the figure itself and the accessories are like right here. 
And we talk about how they've got G.I. Joe classified series bags. And then Transformers even have, you know, bags with Autobot logos on them now. Well, you know, this is probably the start of that because they got the starting lineup bag that, you know, the figure comes in when you open it. He's not just sitting in there. He's in this bag. And then the parts are in this bag. So as an experience for an action figure, it's a really good experience. I, I think. I think it's 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 uh it's as deluxe as Hasbro's ever given you in a, in an action figure. So you got your little stand here and you got two posts for his feet to go in. You've got the jumping kind of deal. I'm gonna plug it in here. The hook to hook on around the figure's waist. And you've got your completed figure stand. Then you've got a basketball. Dribbling hand. And it, the hand doesn't come off. It's like on there. You've got two basketball sort of hands there. And then you get a pointing hand uh, for Steph for Steph Curry. I guess when he's, you know, telling a man to pick up a guy or ready to pass the ball to him, something like that. You've got a pointing hand. And you've got your starting lineup trading card it comes in here. Try to open it from the back. And you got your Steph Curry official Panini trading card with holograms and all of that statistics. All, all there. It's a very, very premium presentation. It just is very nice. I'm going to keep the card in there for protection. But I did want to show it. And then we come to the main event. Steph Curry himself. And I don't think it looks exactly like him, but I can definitely see it, it, it looks like Steph Curry. You got your jersey made of soft plastic. You got on, you know, Nikes. Nike Smoosh, Golden State Warriors, all your NBA official logos. I believe if you really want to, you can get the jersey off. I don't know why you would want to take it off, but I believe you can get it off. And, you know, from an articulation standpoint, you got some pretty decent articulation going on here. So you got pretty high T-pose. They do have an ab crunch, but it's inside the jersey. You can't get to it. You got all the all the modern stuff here. You got the that is actually too deep of an, of an uh, elbow, in, in my opinion. Got your bicep swivel, thigh swivel underneath the shorts. You talked about there. Double jointed pinless knees. You 
very good elm uh ankle pivots look up I guess decently it does kind of want to snap back to the original position look down yes decently Let's do 360. You do have, you know, tilt through the head. And yeah, you know, this is like a figure you're gonna either stand on the stand or stand on your desk or something like that. And it's a, uh, it's a good figure. It's a good figure. You kind of see the abdomen joint here. You do have a butterfly swivel. It's not very deep, but it's there. Very cool. Very cool. For what it is. As far as like the starting lineup series, think about it. What I think they could have did better, or would have would have at least made this line probably have a lot more longevity is to not just have the likenesses of current players um because honestly basketball ball was better in the nineties uh for for what it is you know for what it's worth you know I think uh Steph Curry is awesome for today's era but it was just a lot more exciting a long time ago. And the uh, viewing, you know, the numbers for viewership, you know, bear that out. I mean, I don't want to jump on the, on the Michael Jordan uh, train immediately, but if you could have got him or, you know, Magic Johnson or 80s and 90s guys, you probably would have a line that's still going, to be honest. But in fairness to starting lineup, it was always about current players. It was always about people who were playing whatever sport it was at the time. And of course they had baseball, they had football back in the day. But this is a great figure. I, I think it, as an action figure, it's pretty cool. And uh, I think the only thing I'm sad about or sorry about is that I took so long to review it. I've had this guy since probably November. Well, actually, Steph Curry, I probably had him since that long. But I didn't get him from my buddy who picked him up for me uh, until April. So I owned it, but I didn't have it until, until April. And I still sat on it once I got it. Here it is. And I don't want you to think that he won't stand. It's really more my surface that I have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do about that because I've been having some stability issues. That makes it seem like it's the figures when it's really just, you know, where I'm setting up to shoot my videos. So with that, I'm going to bring in some comparisons for scale. So first I'm going to bring in Luke Skywalker from the Black Series. As you can see, Luke is much shorter. His head kind of big in comparison. The Black Series skews to a, a, a closer to true 112 scale. And so do these guys, I guess, in a sense. Even though they, they, you know, obviously Luke Skywalker is shorter than Steph Curry, but I don't know if it looks right, you know. So to speak. Next, I'm going to bring in the average height G.I. Joe classified series figure. So, classified series scale scales a little bit close to 112, true 112, but not really. You know, you can see Duke's head is much larger. The figure is just overall larger.
And last but not least, we have Spider-Man. Uh, this is a standard adult size Spider-Man. So this is the Remedial Your Miles version. And he's actually taller than Steph Curry. You know, Spider-Man's only like 5'11". So I just wanted to show these guys for scale. Just so you kind of know that, honestly, the, the starting lineup figures are kind of in the world of their own, so to speak. Now, so we can get the full effect of the figure. We're going to do some posing real quick. Which maybe leads to a little bit to maybe one other uh, one other thing I might have perhaps done is either make it to where the basketball can come out of their hand or included a basketball that wasn't attached to their hand. And they got Steph. He's dribbling. Something you don't see all that much anymore. And you can have Steph maybe coming back for a rebound. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty dope. Pretty decent. I think he's uh I think he's pretty great. So that's all I got for this one. I'm gonna move on to final thoughts. Final thoughts on Hasbro's starting lineup series one, Steph Curry of the Golden State Warriors. Look, you gotta praise these guys when they when they do good things and i think they did a good thing with uh this line say what, what you will about the roster of guys you know i'm not necessarily in love with the roster but with the experience with the action figure itself i mean it's a bang up job what seemed like an astounding amount of money you know as a 40 dollar figure on its own i i still say no but i do understand a lot more why they figured that that's what they needed to charge uh, when you take into account again the multiple licensing agreements the premium feel of what they did with the packaging and everything like that i mean it's almost like you know you can keep them in the package and it's like a premium still a premium item um but the experience is worth a little bit more than your standard 20 649 after tax action figure and here we are getting them for 10 7 12 i mean i think Curry, steph curry was probably amongst the most expensive that i even paid for the you know ones that i got so or not even the ones that i didn't get because because i'm plenty of them i haven't seen and they're they're way cheaper than him they're like eight bucks at ollie's i didn't get any of those guys i paid 13 dollars for, for steph curry what can you say i mean i i just don't I don't think that it's hard for me to imagine somebody being happy about anything that wouldn't be happy about this just as an action figure. Again, putting Steph Curry to the side or LeBron James or whoever to the side, the action figure is what I'm talking about. The toy itself, it's a great toy. It just is. Kudos to them. Sorry they couldn't do more. Wish they could have done like, you know, all stars or something and maybe had guys from the past because I just feel like that's the most marketable thing, you know. 
I just I just do. You know, Larry Bird, uh, Dominic Wilkins. You know, there's a lot a lot of guys. Tim Duncan, you know, from back in the day that you could have sort of set yourself up for a success in an action figure line that perhaps you can't do nowadays with the players of today. And again, there's no shot against them for that. It's just it's limited to people who would be wanting an action figure that are watching basketball now, whereas the toy market runs a lot around nostalgia. It runs around kind of things that happened in the past at this point. So that's my soapbox. If you agree, agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. You know, maybe, maybe I'm off base. Maybe I'm, I'm the out of touch old man. I don't know. But I do I have a strong feeling that they would have been more successful if they could have used some of the all time greats. In addition to these guys, I'm not saying don't have these guys. I'm saying also your, you know, your Michael Jordans, your Larry Bird, your Magic Johnsons, your Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's. You could have done better. You know, what was Series 2 going to be? Raymond Green? Please, please don't. Please don't do that. You know, so that's my spiel. Agree, disagree, let me know. You know, I'm never going to be that channel that uh hides people's comments because they said something I don't like or free open communication on this channel. Just keep it keep it civil. I mean you don't have to keep it civil with me, keep it civil with each other. <laughs> you know, I don't care. You can say whatever you want about me. But that's all I got. I'm gonna give this thing a way I gotta figure rank of ten. I mean I, it's hard to give it anything else. And uh, I got another one coming. I'll see you all on the next video. So until next time, we I got it figured. Signing off. See you on the next video. Stay safe. Peace. The way I got it figured.